Welcome to another Dentamax Tip of the Week. Have you ever received an insurance EOB where they made a partial payment to a patient's procedure? And you know you're busy entering in this large EOB and it's difficult to keep track of that so you can follow up with the insurance company. Well today I'm going to review a few tips and tricks to help you with that kind of a thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our ledger screen. We'll pull up David Arnett, and uh, we sent a claim a few weeks ago for David, and uh, we received an EOB. David Arnett happens to be at the very top of the EOB, so we'll start with him. I go to his ledger first, because when I click on New Insurance Payment, it will know to pick up the correct insurance, and yeah, Delta Dental of Arizona in this case. And it will even pull up, when I go to apply this, David's name over here in my EOB entry screen. And then what we can do, we can just right click on the amounts that were paid. But for some reason on this one, they didn't pay anything. Don't know why, they just didn't pay it. So we can go ahead and mark this as a follow-up. And then I can even go as far as to put a note on here. Let's see, statement note. We'll tell to print this note on the statement. Insurance did not pay, you know, don't know why. You put whatever you want here. And then additional notes for your own self would be here at the bottom. Um, you can put follow up with insurance. Find out what's going on. Um, go ahead, I always put my initials on these things. We'll save. And uh, we'll go ahead, in this case, we'll just post our payments and close the screen down. And we'll mark this as being a paid claim. And then, maybe at the end of the day or at the end of the week, um, we'll go to our report screen. And we'll search for our follow-up reports. We'll view the follow-up detail report. And so here's David Arnett at the very top. And uh, we can see that uh, there was a procedure done on the 21st uh, for a PAN. Uh, we called and verified benefits, the frequencies, and the whole bit. And for some reason, they didn't pay on that. Insurance did not pay. Uh, we don't know why. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll bookmark this screen. Go back over here to our ledger screen. So you print that report out normally. And then you go into here. And as you call the insurance companies up, find out what's going on. And they might tell you to resubmit that procedure or tell you that they're not going to pay it. But uh, as you uh, follow up with the insurance, um, you can deselect the follow up button here to lay that uh, to rest. And so, anyway, uh, just a nice little tip and trick there that uh, I know how um, insurance companies can be and to keep track of all the little things that they do to, to keep from getting paid. And you, uh, this will allow you to track those types of things and make your life a little easier at the front desk.